a one, a two. Tingling, 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 it's the bad humor man. Hello again, guys, and welcome to the start of a brand new series. Well, I guess it's the reboot of a series. This is Servisola, the show where we work on radios, record players, phonographs, and, well, I guess that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> we do those three things, basically, and there's a slight problem with that. I actually have no idea how to do the whole radio bit, so, and the record player bit I don't know a bit about, but, yeah. Basically, this is where this is the part where, or this is the series where Greg fumbles around on camera and tries to serve it. No, this is the series where I learn how to repair electrical stuff like this and just work on phonographs and radios and things. I don't know, viewers. <laughs> you can tell. I was gonna try a little harder for the intro, but but uh, I've I've already done too many takes of this, and I don't know how else to explain this to you. We're gonna be working on radios and stuff, and. Obviously, record players, not just pandering to radio. And I haven't uploaded on this channel for two months, and I'm really sick of it, and I'd like to upload more. So, yeah. I, I hope to have these come out once a week, these episodes of Service Ola. Yeah, it's the reboot. We're doing it all again, kind of. Uh, we're finishing the Grafen the Columbia Graffinola project. I'm sure a lot of you thought I probably gave up on that or finished it off camera or whatever. But, no, we are going to finish it in this series. This stuff... This whole thing has waited too long, so anyway, better late than never. I'm going to stop rambling about nonsense. Hopefully somebody understood what I was talking about, and uh, yeah, we're going to be working on this stuff. Oh yeah, and it's also probably all Canadian too, so welcome to Vintage, well not Vintage, I don't like using that word really. Too many negative connotations around that one. Welcome to uh, <laughs> working on... Canadian-made radios, phonographs, and record players, and not furnaces, because the furnace is on. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before this, don't worry, you didn't miss much. We're just, we're just gonna go on from here. So, what have we got to do on the first episode of Servisola? Are we gonna be, are we gonna be recapping some, some GE radios or something like that, Greg? What, what's the, what's the program? Well. We have got to uh, work on, well, we already worked on this thing before. This BSR, I'm assuming it's from the late 60s. I'm still not entirely sure. Uh, maybe into the early 70s. This BSR slash RCA console stereo here. And there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, we serviced the turntable back in, or not, well, I don't know. It is the turntable, yeah, but it's the record changer. We serviced this back in 2019 and it works great. There's no issues here. What has gone wrong with this, and it's not in the radio itself, it is the actual cartridge of this of this record changer here. So I've inherited this console stereo from my grandma, and from what I know about her, she would have never ever placed the stylus on this or anything like that at any, at any point. Uh, well, she would have if it didn't work, and this thing still does, but I think after, I don't know, if this thing's from the 70s, it's getting up to 50 years old now, I think the the stylus is probably worn out. And it is a flip, B, I'm pretty sure this is a flip BSR, uh, well, I don't know what the cartridge name is, but it's a flip BSR stylus here. Or maybe BSR didn't make these, maybe they outsourced them, I don't know. Uh, one one key element, and I know some of you guys are going to laugh at this, is this prominently advertises a diamond stylus on this on this changer here. So so this is some sort of diamond stylus, and I know I'm I'm totally the voice of ignorance here uh, when it comes to a lot of this stuff. But don't worry, we're going to be researching a lot of this stuff together during the progression of this series. And I figured, you know, a cartridge repl replacement. Uh, or maybe maybe we can somehow repair. I don't know. We'll look into this. Some some sort of cartridge ordeal here would be simple enough for us to handle on the first episode while we kind of get into this. 
Anyways, Greg, you haven't really said what's wrong with it. Well, the cartridge isn't dead, so that's good. The stylus, or the needle, if whatever you want to call it, still works, although I'm pretty sure it needs replacing, because it is, you know, it's the original. Uh, yeah, yeah, the cartridge itself has a piece of rubber under the, under the uh, stylus here. And I'm pretty sure that piece of rubber has gone completely hard. And I don't know if, what type of cartridge this is. We'll be looking into that a little later. But this, I don't know, it must be some, oh shoot. It might be ceramic. I, I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Believe me, viewers, I'll need a lot of that. Uh, yes, this thing, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it might be ceramic, viewers, I genuinely don't know. All I know is that it skips on base heavy 78s. And yes, this this series of Servisola here, this is gonna be all about working on older stuff. This is gonna be pre-19, oh, I don't know, pre-1967 or something like that. We're gonna, we're gonna hang around all the older phonographs and all that fun stuff there. Anyway, I'm trying to play rock and roll 78s on here, the few that I have and I've uploaded this one on the channel already. It likes to skip on these ones. That's obviously not normal, especially since the record doesn't skip on anything else, or not that I have anything else to play it on, but it didn't skip before. There's no reason for it to start now. So, yeah, this thing is having issues. So I'm debating either replacing it or just trying to somehow revive the rubber under there. I'm not sure. I, you can tell viewers my, my video formatting skills for this series are great. Don't worry, they'll pick up. And don't worry viewers, I'm not stupid enough to the point where I just work on this stuff plugged in. I just unplugged this thing. I don't know if that would have any sort of effect on this, but we've done it anyway. Yeah, so okay, let's actually get this cartridge assembly out of here before we do or try and figure out what it is or whatever. I see there's a screw here. Not sure what that's all about. There's a lead, there's a wire going to it. Uh-huh, we're just gonna try and get that out of there. I don't, yeah, I don't know what, okay. That looks a little corroded. And I see there is a screw here. How does this, how does this cartridge come out of here? I know there's the four leads for this thing. This is a stereo cartridge, I know that much. It's got the four, well, I guess leads. I don't know what else you'd call them. Uh, I think that screw right there is for the stylus to come out. Am I even getting grip with that? Might have to grab a smaller screwdriver. Yes, viewers, Servisola is in the name where we actually record this stuff being worked on, and this is still the wrong size of screwdriver. I hope that light helps you a little bit. I know it's helping me a lot. I can already see things a lot better. Oh, come on, screw. I don't know if that's meant to... Uh, I don't want to wreck it, you know? I don't know. How does this come out of here? Because these things are meant to be replaced, so I'm not sure. I hope the tone arm doesn't like have to come off or something. Yikes. Uh, okay, that's not what we want. Okay, well, we're instead of doing that, we're just going to pull our cartridge leads out. Pfft, okay, that wasn't quite how I wanted to. That was a little aggressive. Okay. There we go. That's still a little bit aggressive for my taste, but it's working. How, do, how does this thing come out of here? That's my question. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm, I'm scared I might rip one of these... Uh, these all, oh, okay, well, I didn't do that. Okay, well, now we got our, well, good thing I'm recording this, right? I can see what goes where. Obviously, it's a really bad idea to pull on any of those. <laughs> That's why we got them out now, because uh, that will just snap off, and then I'll have some goofy soldering job I gotta do, so I don't wanna do that. Yeah, I think this screw has to come out of here. I don't, I don't see any other way this comes out, because it doesn't move. Oh, wait, maybe it does. Does it come out? What do you... How do you work? Uh, okay, that's interesting. 
I hope it's not like a press fit thing. I'm just going to say this right now, viewers. Um, I have another series called the, um, the GPWS. It's the Greg Ola Productions West Clock Show, where uh, the West Clock's in the name, but there's more to our game than that. Yeah, the... When, look, when you're working, when you're learning how to work on this stuff, not saying this is going to be the project where it happens, but I learned to work on clocks first before I learned to work on this stuff, and I have inevitable, I have wrecked stuff on camera. That's just how it goes, because I'm, I'm still kind of new to clock repair, and I'm even newer to working on radios and this type of stuff. Uh, to some extent, I like I've done you know little bits and thing, bits and pieces before, but nothing. Nothing that in serious, I guess. So we're going to get a little more serious this time around. Yeah, that isn't working. How do you, how do you pop out? That's not good. I don't like that. Okay, well, I don't think she's coming out that way. Yeah, viewers, if you want to berate me in the in the comments, uh, constructive criticism is more than welcome because I could take all the constructive criticism I could get. I've enlisted the help of people from the Greg Ola Records Club, and here's what's going on now. So the head shell is loose, and I'm going to try and get all these guys out of here. And also our cartridge itself, and the camera's flying all over the place, does not want to come off of this thing off this head shell so that it might be actually stuck to this thing i might have to replace the head shell entirely i have no idea what's going on here let's just get the head shell free from the tone arm and then we can investigate it further okay let's try and get these guys out of here all these guys stand them up oh, how does this it's loose but it's not hey maybe it comes off like this. I think you gotta turn it. Oh, maybe not. This is rough. Oh, yeah, you go okay, this thing is a is a push pull fit ordeal here. But how do I get this out without snapping all the leads off? You know, because this thing might go shooting forward or whatever. The leads might oh Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. That didn't uh, go flying through there, so that's good. So the head shell is free from the tone. Well, not really. It's kind of free from the tone arm. We can just kind of start getting these guys in here and try and push them through the hole. They're all fairly loose on there, right? So, ooh, that's not quite right. <laughs> and get all these guys. I know I've said it like 60 times now. We're going to get them in here. Oh, come on, boys. Cooperate. Oh, yeah, I don't want to snap any of these off. Oh, there goes one, two, three. Come on, get out of there. Come on, boys. Oh, man, oh, man, imagine assembling this thing. Okay. Just get, just get all the leads through, and we'll get it free, and we're almost out. Holy smokes, okay, we're out. Oh, boy. Okay, so we didn't destroy any of these leads. They might be slightly tangled. The white one might be slightly tangled with the yellow one. Don't ask me what they mean. Uh, I think it has something to do with stereo, but I, I don't know. Uh, those are fine. Let's work on the actual head shell itself. Interestingly enough, this likes to spring up now. I'm not sure why. I don't know if the head was weighing this down. I guess it must have been somewhat. Hmm, that's interesting. I hope that doesn't hope that doesn't continue to happen after after it's all put back together in one way or another. Okay, so we're on the free work table, aka the repair bench, and here is our head shell. Okay. Guess what? This wasn't even, I don't even, this, this isn't even a screw here. That's a rivet. <laughs> Greg, oh my gosh, he tries to unscrew a rivet. Yikes, we're getting back to 2017 here. Speaking of screws, here's the screw that was holding the head shell to the tone arm. 
I'm gonna make sure to keep that very safe. Yes, I use a lot of containers here. Yes, there are clocks and things being worked on here right now. Uh, okay, let's investigate this. I see this pulls up and pulls out. Ooh, let's have a look at this stylus here for a second. <laughs> here, this is the, what is this? Oh, this is the 78 side. I know it says LP on there. Um, how this works is it's a flip, right? So this is reversed. So the LP is actually on this side and the 78 is on this side, if that makes any sense. Look at how worn out those are. Yikes, I should have replaced this a while ago, but I probably would have broken it in that whole get the head shell off process. Does this come off of here? Yeah, it does. Wow, okay. Um, if we can get a new stylus, we might be able to just reutilize this piece of plastic here. Yeah, I think we might, well, whatever. I don't know. But this, 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 this is done. This is out of service now. You got this thing here. The flag. So that's nice. That's a rivet. We still have no idea how to get this guy out of here. I'm just going to start pulling stuff apart here. Uh, okay, that's how that's held on. This thing. Uh, okay, this stuff comes apart. I don't... I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. Probably am. I don't want to wreck this, because this is still a good cartridge. Well, what is it? I don't know, this rubber suspension piece. I don't know. I think he might be on the on the on the decline and even if that rubber piece isn't on the decline this is still moving around really loose for some reason that's not good you don't want that uh, okay not sure what to do next here I'm playing around with this thing and I see that this piece actually comes out it may not even be dry this thing might have just tried to come out of here or something like that maybe it's loose <laughs> I don't think that's normal uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, now it's definitely wrecked. Okay, well, this thing still has good output. I don't know if I've just totally destroyed this thing. Um, is this, wait, is this plastic? I think it's some sort of, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Really not sure what to do about this one. Even if that was any good. This is still having a freak out session. Greg, why don't you just glue it? Well, how do you do any sort of maintenance work to this? If you glue it. You know what I mean? Someone's going to have to replace it eventually. This is hard. It's hard what to know what to do next. Maybe I shouldn't rip that piece of rubber out of there. I'm kind of regretting that now. Although maybe it'll go back in. I don't know. Oh, it looks like it's broken anyway. Yeah, okay. Well, that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm not sure, viewers, what to go... Where to go next with this. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hope we can have some sort of follow-up in the next episode.